Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK. This is World of Aircraft Glider Simulator, and I'm going to have a little go in the H36 Daimona, Diamona, Daimona. I think it's Daimona, isn't it? The Daimona. Uh, according to the devs, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's not the best motor aircraft, and it's not the best uh, glider, but it's a brilliant cross between the two. It got the long wings of a glider, but a standard, though often rather small aircraft engine. You can either use them as a normal aircraft or switch off the engine and glide for a while. So it sounds quite fun. Cockpit is nice. One of those, uh, the DA-42 styly flip back ones. The DA-42? I, I could be getting my aircraft modelled up here, to be honest. It's been a while since I've done this. Can you click on the headphones? No, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just to get that audible change, audio change. Right, let's have a look, see what we got here. So, I don't appear to have any flaps, but I do have some spoilers. Let's have a little look out. There we go. There's some spoilers. Nice animation on the spoilers. Nice audio on the spoilers as well. No flaps. Everything else seems to be fine. Oh, can I see the... Uh... Yeah, just about to see that. Just about to see that. You can hear it. If I do it slowly, no bang. If I do it fast... Nice, huh? That's pretty good. That's pretty cool, actually. I am quite impressed with that. All right, let's see what this bird can do. Um, do we have brakes? No brakes. But we have... We have rudders, and we do... Let's shut the cockpit. Start the engine. Nice audible change there as the cockpit is closed. Uh, right, so no flaps. It's a bit bumpy. Nice audio. Oh, struggling here, I tell you. Stay in a straight line. Theoretically, once we're... Uh... Once we're up in the air, we, we should be fine. Because it's a glider, it should just want to fly. Or glide. So I thought uh, for this flight we take a little a little uh, jaunt down the river. Maybe we'll fly our way out and then uh, glide our way back, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm just curious how far the river goes, really. Tried to, uh, I tried to hook up and uh, test out the online aspect of the game. Uh, it doesn't seem to be active at the moment. There were, uh, I think, four people in the game, and uh, maybe one person on the server, but I couldn't get access. So uh, here's a little test. Can I open the cockpit in midair? So yeah, if you watched any of the other videos that I've made on this game, I, I can only apologise for the, uh, the stutteriness um, that 
they recorded under, I can assure you that the game itself is not stuttery. Um, and I am, I am desperately trying to work on a solution for that. I've been waiting on a 3080 RTX for over a year now, uh, and it feels pretty disgusting, I've got to say, to have shelled out nearly a thousand pounds and to have nothing in my hands. Uh, I do kind of feel like there's a legal responsibility there for something, for somebody somewhere to get a kick in the nads. That's how, that's how I feel about that, to be honest. Rightly or wrongly. Getting a bit of uh, turbulence. It's nice, I like the turbulence, it, it feels good. It's going to trim down a little bit here. So rather like uh, some some Russian military aircraft, it appears that the uh, the trim is on the stick itself. You see the adjustment on the stick, as opposed to the uh, the flap. Quite interesting. I'm not sure how much land space we have to fly in and I'm not sure what happens if we exceed the boundaries of the map. Equally I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not I can get up to these clouds. You can see we, obviously we've got a skybox set of clouds up there but we also have some proper cumulus clouds here that we're, we're heading towards, albeit rather slowly. And uh, yeah, the H36 Daimona. It's nice. I, I, I like the birds. Uh, I just feel like there's too many of them. I feel like there's too many of them and they're too bloody big. But that's my opinion. Tell me what you think. It doesn't matter what I think, really. I'm just... I'm just here showcasing the game for you. My opinions are on my own. Um, and obviously, you know, I've been granted access to the game so that I can create videos for you so you can see what the game is all about but ultimately it's you that's going to buy the game not me I'm just here trying to show you the good the bad the different uh, for me head tracking is a massive thing I would not as, as good as this is and I think it's really good and I don't know what the price is going to be I mean if it's 20 quid then maybe I could overlook the fact that it doesn't have head tracking. But if we're talking sort of 30 pounds and upwards, head tracking would have to be in the game. And either which way, I think head tracking should be added. Because head tracking is such a, a massive immersion boost. So you can see we're right up. What happens if the bird flies into me? Just vanishes. That's okay. Whoa. Whoa. So, okay. I think it's really nice. I think it's, I think it's a, they've done a great job. And it seems as though we can fly quite far, although I'm seeing just ahead of us there. I put a bit of trim down. Actually, I don't need to be flying at that. I my throttle up at maximum.
So I think you can see just ahead of me there that the river is coming to an end. So let's fly over there just to see what the game does when you reach that sort of uh, the edge of the the edge of the game, as it were. Because obviously that's not something that applies to games like Microsoft Flight Simulator. They uh, they don't have edges. You just keep flying wherever you like. Well, I'm up to three and a half thousand feet. It feels like we're in touching distance of these clouds. I haven't quite managed to get up there yet. Maybe a bit of extra throttle is a good idea. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount of audible difference. If I come down to 50%, and then back up to 100%. No difference whatsoever. It's kind of cool that you can fly this close to the birds though. I know that I know that they're only there as a symbolic indication of thermals but actually it's really quite cool to be able to fly around I mean fly <laughs> obviously when you're flying flying through a flock of birds is actually a negative thing but in a simulated environment it's kind of cool So I'm pretty sure we're coming to the end of the uh, the end of the accepted game area. My expectation is some sort of pop up. Uh, you're leaving the the area. Please turn around and head back. If it starts doing something crazy like you've got ten seconds get back in the game arena I won't be that impressed so I do believe uh, and I stand to be corrected that um, this is supposed to be accurately modelled on the airport and its surroundings. Which is quite interesting. So, I mean, I've, I've never been here, but uh, I think it's meant to be. An accurate re representation. So for this bird to stay in the sky we need to be doing about 90 knots and climbing at 90 knots is a slow process. So yeah, I don't know if we can actually get up into these clouds. We're just we've just hit 5,000 feet, and they still appear to be just above us. And 
really struggling to keep climbing now. Don't think we have... No, we have no RPM adjustment, so I can't adjust for the altitude. Theoretically, it might be possible to get in a thermal and get some altitude. In the real world, you can get extremely high on thermals. But we'll try and get there, we'll try and get there. I'm, tr I'm trying to maintain a stable 90 whilst, whilst still climbing. And I believe we've reached the edge of the mesh, though it's difficult to see. I think there's an external camera, but I'm not sure you can get... Oh yeah, here we go. So, input. Doesn't scroll this either, I've noticed. Interesting. Uh, fly by camera, so we got some. Okay, so we got some cameras on the F keys. So let's go. Oh, that's nice. You can see, you can see how this aircraft is struggling. Oh. Really pushing up high towards those clouds. We're not going to make it, but I, yeah, I'm trying. I am trying. So we're nearly at 6,000 feet, and uh, they still appear to be just outside of my reach. I'm not sure if they're climbing with us or what, but... Uh, F4. F9, interestingly, is the chase cam. So you have F123 and then F9. I don't think we can get up there. Okay, let's switch the engine off. It's interesting that you can't adjust the prop. Uh, so that so that you don't have so much drag. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I I, I quite like this. I certainly like uh, the transition from the noisy engine to the the calm of the the glide. It's cool, really cool.
So I'm basically just going to follow the river back. See if we can't land. Yeah, I like this. I think this is a great little game. I hope they price it fairly, um, and I think it will sell well. Especially with Microsoft lacking in that glider department. I mean, if, if you want to go somewhere and meet up with other people who like gliding, um, this is the ideal sort of setup isn't it really because everyone here is looking to glide you can all chat about your interest in gliding your experience in gliding share some tips i think um i've watched quite a few documentaries on gliding because uh, i made a review a few months back on microsoft flight simulator when they first started bringing out um free free mods free glider mods and um yeah, I mean, I didn't know anything about... I didn't know much about gliding. So uh, I had to go do some research in order to make that video and have some sort of insight into into the world of gliding. We're not very smooth right now, are we? I think maybe I need to adjust my trim slightly. We're doing the old dolphin impression. All right, steady on, steady on. Trim seems really good, really accurate, really responsive. It's good, I really like this game. I definitely think there is an avenue for it. I, I wonder what they're going to do in the future as well. I wonder what their future plans are. Maintaining about 100. It's good speed. It's coming down to 5,000 feet. All is well. What I, what I don't know yet, there's quite probably quite a few things that I don't know yet, but one thing I definitely don't know yet is whether or not you can have collisions. Now obviously in Microsoft Flight Simulator that isn't an option. And um, I can understand why there's no collisions, but part of me feels like mm, that should be my choice shouldn't have it forced upon me but uh, without multiplayer working I can't really test that out good audio though really nice just trying to remember what I bound all my buttons to Hello, buddy. Yep, getting some uh, thermals right now. Very 
very grateful to get thermals. There's a lot of thermals as well, judging by the number of birds about. Shouldn't be hunting too long or too hard for them. So I'm pretty sure I can see the airport dead ahead. About 17 degrees. Well, that bird's coming close to me. <laughs> Wanted to have a good look inside. Get my mouse off the uh, screen there. Sorry about that. So I'm going to try and enter the pattern directly here. Obviously, there's going to be uh, a case of trying to judge my altitude to be at the correct altitude by the time I arrive. I want to be probably no more than a thousand feet. So again, we have a tail dragger. That means I need to land kind of in the flight position, as, as it were. Okay, so I can see birds dead ahead of me. So I'm going to go through there just to give me that little bit of extra altitude. I don't really feel like we need it, but uh, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, if that makes sense. I can always chuck some flaps on and... Well, no, we haven't got any flaps, are we? <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Okay, no flaps, just spoilers. Four thousand feet. I don't know. I feel like we're. On, I think we're on point. That we're in a good place right now. I wonder what birds think when they see gliders. Because I kind of feel like if a bird sees a jumbo jet, he thinks that's a big aeroplane. But if he sees a glider with no engine, does he think, bloody hell, that's a big bird? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure birds aren't that stupid, but it does make you think, doesn't it? It's one of the things about gliding, gliding and sailing. For me, very, very similar in in many ways. Lots of time to think, sort of a connection to uh, to our planet.
Bit of turbulence. I think I'd just make out the runway or the the airstrip. Or a good distance in order to enter the pattern. I'm going to try and come straight in on this, I think. So we haven't actually had a successful landing in free flight yet, I don't think. I'm trying to remember if we if we've managed it or not. So I'd like to get this right. It's a bit difficult to judge not having an engine. Because if you have an engine and you go a little bit low, easily dealt with. In a glider, you don't really have that option, truth be told. So I'm just going to drop the nose a little bit. We're doing about 400 feet per minute. Feels about right. Gain us a little bit of extra speed. But importantly, it will scrub a little bit of altitude. I'm aiming to come in parallel to the runway at about 1,000 feet. Even that might be a bit high. Let's drop, drop the nose a little bit more. So this aircraft can fly quite comfortably at uh, 200 or even 250. Anything above that would be dangerous. So we're actually going to come in at about 2,000 feet, which is twice what I was targeting. But if we're still dropping at four, 500 feet per minute, which we are, then uh, that altitude is going to drop off very quickly. There's the landing strip right there. Because we have no flaps, which is weird. Uh, we may need to put the spoilers on a little bit early. Still at 2,000 feet. I'm going to put the spoilers on now. Need to get down to about 500 here. Excuse me, absolutely parallel right now. Still too high. Still too actually the speed's not bad. The speed is about is about right. We're dropping at a thousand feet per minute with the spoilers on. Not fully on, mind you. Okay, so I'm gonna come out to the edge of the water here and then I'm gonna turn in. I think I'm going to drop the spoilers off here. Okay, let's start turning her in. Hard, well, semi hard on the rudder.
one of the road round, spoilers back on. Spoilers off actually. So we're at 500 feet, just over 100. So I am going to put the spoilers back on again. Slightly indecisive. Get our speed down. I think this aircraft actually needs to be travelling a little bit faster than the other one that we, uh, the first one that we trained in. Doesn't feel quite so aerodynamic. I'm sure, that propeller at the front is adding to the problem, as it were. This feels this feels about right. So full spoilers. Might come up a little bit short here. I don't think I'm meant to be landing on those things in the middle. The runway lights. Did I miss the runway? Oh, I'm slightly off to the left. Balls. Okay, well, I know that for next time. That was really fun, guys. Uh, I fully, fully, fully enjoyed that. Hopefully you did too. Um, like I say, um, please don't pay any attention to my, my flying skills or lack thereof. I'm not trying to uh, indicate that I'm some sort of super pilot. But uh, I am trying to showcase the game to you, and hopefully I've managed to do that in this video. It's a lot of fun. I still have no brakes, by the way. <laughs> we'll just come to a nice, gentle roll to a stop. I really quite like this aircraft. I've got a soft spot for it right now. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So, um, yeah, the game's coming out in uh, in a few days' time. I can't remember how to... There we go. Uh, I don't have a price for you, I'm afraid, but um, just tell me in the comments, what do you think? Is this uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, somewhere in between? And if so, what would you like to see that's not here? For my two pennies worth, as I've said, head tracking is a thing that I think definitely needs to be added to this. But other than that, I think it's really nice. I think it's really enjoyable. Perfect little gliding uh, scenario. It would be nice to get in here and um, meet up with some, some other gliders and, uh, you know, have a little session. And if it is possible for one of us to be the, uh, the tow or the dragger, I think it's called, isn't it? One of us to... Uh, uh, sort of take over control of that aircraft and just fly around, land, pick up some gliders and help them take off. I think that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, very good indeed. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.